My Math Lab is the program we use for completing homework and exams. This is the homepage for My Math Lab. In the homepage, you see that there's a calendar. And on Tuesday, January 10th, there's a homework available. The three homeworks that are available are called My Math Lab Orientation, Whole Numbers, and Adding Integers. I could click on that link and it'll take me to the homework if I choose to. Over on Thursday the 12th, there's a thumbtack that tells you that that's today's date. On the 13th, there's once again a page there so it tells you what homework is available. It does have here not yet available because there's um, prior assignments that have to be completed before that. If I move in the calendar over to the right, I will eventually see some little clocks. Those clocks show me when assignments are due. Now in this particular one, it says on January 23rd, the My Math Lab orientation is due. This is the last day it's due for full credit, otherwise it will be late penalties. I really recommend students always be working ahead on their assignments. That way if an assignment is challenging or they need a little bit of help, they've given themselves some time to get the assistance they need. In the middle of the My Math Lab home screen, there's a section that says what to work on next. It'll only list three homework assignments that you haven't completed yet that you need to. If you have more than three assignments that you need to be working on, they're not all going to be visible here. I'll show you where they will be. It says, next study plan objective, be familiar with the exercise area. We don't actually use the study plan at all, so please ignore the study plan objectives. If you want to know what your current class grade is, look in this overall score section. And I'll scroll down a little bit. There'll be a bar graph that shows you what percent you're attaining. And your goal, of course, is to pass the class. Hopefully with a, I would say, hopefully with a B or better, 70% a is passing at Helena College. So watch this overall score if you want to know what your current grade is. Occasionally I put announcements up. They're going to be in this section that says, welcome to my math lab. These announcements would be something like, hey, you have an exam coming up. Make sure you're working on your homework and you're ready for your exam. Now over on the left, this tab that says homework is one that I use the most, honestly. It will list all of our homework. Now if we want to list everything, you click on this toggle and list all assignments. Okay, so you can see that there's three homework assignments that are available right now and for some reason there's this review of module 5 that's available. Um, I would click on the very first link that says My Math Lab Orientation to start the homework. You'll notice there's no flag next to here. That tells me that there's no other assignment I have to finish prior to working on this particular um, assignment. There's no time limit. And it, for you guys, there's no limit of attempts on homework. On exams, you're only allowed one attempt. And then once you're done with the assignment, it'll tell you what your gradebook score is. Okay, This one has a flag and it says, you must score at least 90% on my math lab orientation, this one, prior to working on here. So if I were to complete the my math lab orientation and get a 70%, I still wouldn't have that flag removed. That flag only gets removed once I've got a 90% on that my math lab orientation. Okay, so once again on this tab, if all I do is list homework, it's only going to list my homework, and I may not be aware that there's a test that's coming up. So you may want to toggle and look at tests. You can see some tests. Now under tests, it'll show some sample tests and quizzes. These are the publishers. Ours are up in this upper section. Those are the ones that are required. Down below, these are just optional and they don't affect your grade at all. Okay, I tend to keep this toggle on all assignments so that way I can see everything in one spot. Another place you can look for quizzes and tests, though we honestly don't have any quizzes, we just have tests. Um, is to click on the quiz and test tab and then it'll look like it did on the prior screen where just this is for uh, you to work on and then these are optional. Okay. The study plan tab is entirely up to you if you want to have additional access to more practice. There's practice in here that usually that focus on quizzes. If you don't want to focus on a quiz but want more practice, click all chapters. And then all the chapters of your textbook are loaded. Um, if I were to hit the plus on chapter one, maybe I was interested in some more practice on exponents and order of operations, I could click there. There we go. 
And if I wanted to maybe work on order of operations, I could click. It's going to show me all the problems that have order of operations. This particular problem says it comes from Chapter 1, Section 7, Problem 45 of your textbook. It's got a little video that you could um, watch with this particular problem if you wanted to. I'll click on here so you can see what your homework can look like. Okay, so this one says simplify 17 plus 2 times 2. Remember to multiply before you add. So the answer on this one is 21. Once you type in your answer, you want to click check answer. If you get it right, it'll say well done. And it's loading the next question. Let's say I get this one wrong, and I'm just going to guess, and I say the answer is 1. If I hit check answer, they'll say, sorry, that's not right. Maybe I try it again. Well, let's try a different number, 3. I check, still not right. I'm going to go ahead and check a third time. A third time, it'll say, sorry, you've tried enough on this problem. You've got it wrong. To be able to get full credit for it, you need to hit similar question. It'll reload a problem very similar, and then you can retry it. So this says 8 divided by 4, which is 2, times 2, which is 4, plus 5, which is 9. And I can check that answer, and I have it right. So you can see that I have got a few problems right. If I want to um, navigate with my problems in a different manner, I can click that arrow and see the problems that I've worked on. I want to jump to problem 79, I could click on that. Another way that I can toggle to through uh, problems is to click the arrow, and that will also take me to the next problem. Okay, I'm going to close this. Okay, one more feature I want to show you, uh, I guess two more on the left hand side, is there's a gradebook. The gradebook is very similar to the home page gradebook. It'll show you your current calculation, but it'll show you that there are 55 homework assignments and 13 tests. And really in this particular class there's seven tests and six are review, hence 13. Uh, the other piece I want to show you is your electronic textbook. So here we have an electronic textbook and we can go into the chapter one. It's remembering where I was at. So if I wanted to look at performing long division, I could look at some examples in my textbook on performing long division. I hope that helps, and if you have any questions, please let me know.